Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing a what do you need to know right now kind of pick a card. I feel like this is going to be really good for kind of guidance to help you through what you're going through and just a general kind of check up with the universe, kind of see how you're doing and things like that. So I do, and I'm going to put the crystals on the cards, but we have group number one, two and three. I will now put the crystal cards on and then you can choose your group. Okay, so we have Apophyllite for group number one, Selenite for group number two, this is a Selenite tower, and in group number three we have the gorgeous Desert Rose, so please choose your group now, and let's get started in your reading. So starting off with group number one with the Apophyllite. Hello, group number one, so for you guys, you have the Apophyllite, okay, and this, this crystal is all about connecting to your physical body, not physical body, your physical, your spiritual body in your physical body, okay? So it's connecting your physical and your spiritual body. This one actually has um, another crystal attached to it. I'm pretty sure this is, I can't remember what, exactly what crystal this one is, but it's really beautiful. It has all the different elements to it. So it's basically saying for you guys to embrace each element of you and each personality that we all have, because we all have different, we all really have different personalities in our one personality. And as you can see, some of the crystals are really dense, some of them are very, <clears throat> excuse me, some of them are very clear, some of them are very opaque. So I feel like for you guys, you can be feeling a little bit misty in the head right now. You can be feeling quite kind of foggy um, and they're telling you to kind of connect to spirit, to meditate, to get out in nature if you can. Um, get out of the house if you can in, in some sort of way. As I say, get for that, go out for that daily walk if you can. But if you can't, really kind of um, immerse yourself in a really beautiful environment. So get your headphones on, listen to some music, maybe watch some waves on YouTube and just really look at those waves and just really connect. It can be with fire, can be connected with any, any element. And basically, so it can be like fire, water, air, or earth, any sort of way. Even if you have crystals, maybe like hold it in your hand and maybe go on a little crystal journey with it in the meditation. So that's your little intuitive message. Okay, guys, I love this crystal, it's so pretty. Okay, so I'll plop it there. Okay, so let's have a look at your general message. So the overall message for you guys, we have, watch your words, okay? So this is all about your throat chakra. This is how you assert yourself to other people. So obviously at this time right now, everything is like a, is a, is more sensitive. I just feel like the energy is more sensitive anyway. I feel like a lot of people are waking up. So this is a very sensitive time. So I feel like for you guys, it's really important to just watch how you're talking to yourself. Watch how you're approaching other people in terms of how you're talking to them. And if you need time alone, just, just give yourself time alone because obviously that's maybe what you're needing. If you're starting to get a little bit angry, that's probably just because you're incubating, you're in hermit mode right now and that's totally fine, okay? So the next message we have is look for fairies. And we also have Iolite, beautiful. So for you guys, it's really connecting with your childlike energy. It's really connecting with your childhood self and connecting with that part of you that really needs that kind of boost of of like childlike energy okay and i really felt the eye light is really connected to your family it's definitely an element of family in this group this is a general timeless reading okay so obviously if this is like three years two years one year that you watch this it's, it doesn't matter but um but i do feel like for you guys it's really connecting with your inner child and connecting with that element of family and kind of connecting with other people so even though at this moment in time maybe you aren't able to connect with your family physically but you can, can connect to them um, through like Skype and things like that. But obviously if you're living with them, it can be quite hard to kind of disconnect from that, especially if you are in isolation with your family in your house, it can be quite difficult to exit kind of that energy. So I highly, highly recommend Black Onyx for you guys as well. Black Onyx is really good for kind of getting away from those negative energies. And the third eye chakra is really kind of obviously your, this is about the third eye chakra, you know, the Upophilite's about the third eye chakra. It's really connecting to that spiritual side of you. It's connecting with your intuition. So a lot of you guys could be feeling like you're really transforming at the moment and it could be quite hard on your family possibly because maybe it's hard on you and therefore it may re be reflecting outward. So the best thing for you to do guys is to kind of just be in your own little world right now and to really kind of be 
as much in your own energy as possible and that means to kind of get away from family possibly get out in the garden if you have one or just like open the window and just maybe stick your head out I don't know <laughs> but just really kind of make sure you're in your own energy as much as possible because that will help you transform through the rest of this energy that's coming in okay so we have north node destiny we have jupiter expansion and we have scorpio so you guys i can feel that you're going through like a really intense time i mean we all are but you guys are really feeling the intensity of these energies and i think the best thing for you to do guys is to get some crystals if you can and if you ever want any crystals just let me know and i can i can get that done for you i do crystal jewelry so i can get that done for you you can just email me down below uh, or there's the my instagram handle is down below it's at the crystal girl underscore but I do feel like you guys are expanding towards your what your path is. So all of this energy that's coming up is basically making helping you to move forward towards where you're meant to be going. So your destiny here is all about to, it's like expanding you before you're getting out there. So basically, it's almost like I'm seeing like a balloon that's kind of deflated. And you know when you blow up a balloon and you let it go and it kind of flies everywhere? That's kind of where you are at the moment. You've got like this deflated balloon and you need to kind of blow air back into it. And what this means is to fulfill your own cup, fill your own cup, you know, really work on your own energy. And this Scorpio is all about transformation. It's about shedding that old skin. It's about in intense, raw, destructive energy that really kind of brings in, like it clears out all that old dirt that needs to be kind of put, we need to put a new soil down basically. So it's getting rid of that old soil before we can start anew. And this destiny card is basically saying that you're on the right path. You're not you're not away from your path, you're on the right path. It's just, this is where it's pointing towards, you know? And maybe you wanna work with kind of ethereal energies. You maybe wanna work with spirit for your uh, destiny. But also it's possibly just getting you to connect with your intuition more, you know? And the crystals that are really good for connecting with your intuition are selenite, which is this one here that I have for group number two. Selenite towers are so amazing. I would have my selenite wand there as well. Um, also apophyllite, there's clear quartz, there's also calcite. I feel like selenite is probably the best for intuition as well. Um, but yeah, I do definitely feel like you guys are expanding. You're really kind of figuring out what it is that you want to do. Maybe some of you guys want to be a lecturer. I'm seeing that quite strongly. This is to do with lectures. Um, and I feel like for you guys, you may want to be teaching. It's all about luck and kind of prosperity as well so you are aiming towards that it's just kind of everything's like building up that energy is really building up so try to keep as optimistic as possible guys because you are on that path okay so let's see what we have for the tarot so we have the chariot we have the death card and we have the six of swords so this is really funny because i actually saw these cards as they came out when i was shuffling them because sometimes they flip out and i'm like oh because <laughs> i like it to be a surprise to myself when they come out because i don't even know what i pull when i do the cards i do it like as it comes out and i this one was actually here and this chariot was here and actually this works i feel much better because you're basically heading towards a massive um transformation which is absolutely beautiful that's where you want to be and you're leaving behind that transformation as you go through it which is beautiful so this it's funny how we have scorpio we have the death card you guys are really in that scorpio energy so you may even be a scorpio you may have a scorpio friend who's really helped you transform um you could have had a uh, i'm hearing a toxic relationship with a scorpio so just let you know that obviously toxic relationship is uh you know your own opinion but it does feel like a relationship that really made you transform it doesn't have to be a toxic relationship guys it can just be somebody who really kind of helps you to transform through that energy but this um here it feels like it was really really easy this this part feels easy this part feels a little bit more difficult going towards a chariot to the death i mean we have that kind of heading towards that strong energy that kind of fast movement this I feel like is a little bit more difficult because this is kind of you realizing and recognizing what's going on with you but once you click out once you go and go over that hump over that lump and you're moving forward you have nothing to worry about you're you are heading in the right direction guys okay so let's have a look at your astrology dice let's see what spirit wants you to know okay so we have Capricorn and we also have the first house here as well. So this is all about you focusing on your career. This is about you focusing on the the part of you that's more about kind of financial gain, more about the things that are kind of coming towards you. And I feel like this is more about your physical elements that you're manifesting. Okay, so I feel like this is also with um, Capricorn, it's kind of like a, st a stable kind of energy. Um, sorry, I didn't mean Jupiter, but I mean, whatever I said with this, this is Saturn, by the way. 
whatever I said, this is Saturn. Okay, so with um, Saturn in the first house, it's basically showing you that this is the expansion that's going on. And I know Jupiter is about expansion as well, but I feel like this feels like so, this feels so deep for you guys. And this Capricorn energy, as I say, they're very, um, they're very sustainable. They're very kind of like work towards a goal. So you guys are working towards that goal essentially, okay? And yeah, I feel like you guys are really going for it. I think you're doing a really, really good job. And I see that you're going towards your destiny. It's just working on those things first before you can actually get to that point, but you are getting there, okay, guys? For some of you guys, I'm hearing you might wanna be a singer. Um, you might want to be like a builder, someone who builds things, just anything. Someone who actually wants their own Etsy shop as well, like um, whether you have your own crafts. Um, is there anything else? I'm seeing you building a house. I don't know if you guys are working on your house right now, like decorating or something. But yeah, I'm really feeling that. I'm also seeing a boat ride as well. I don't know what that's about, but yeah. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this reading. And if you did, don't forget to give it a big old thumbs up. That really helps me out. And subscribe if you would like to. And yeah, thank you so much. And if you want a private reading, all my information is down below. If you're ever interested in any jewellery, I don't have an Etsy shop up yet, but I'm working on it. That will be up very, very soon. Hopefully in the next one to two months. And I'll speak to you very soon. Much love. Bye. Hello, group number two. Let's get started with your reading. So similar to group number one, you guys are most likely going to be connecting with your intuition. Selenite, I feel like, is a very peaceful crystal as well. So you guys are... Um, actually doing I feel quite quite well I feel like you guys are really working yourself you're working on your health you're working on just really giving to yourself and self-love a lot of you guys are really gaining a lot of confidence in your spirituality as well which is really lovely so your intuition could be really helping you out you could be starting to do tarot I feel like a lot of you guys are connecting with uh I'm hearing aura quartz as well so maybe connect with aura quartz but yeah, sunlight is amazing for intuition. I also have sunlight here as well. So what's the main message for group number two? Bring your ideas to life. That's really beautiful. So it goes with my aesthetic today. <laughs> so with this energy, this is all about you kind of figuring out where is it that you want to go in the future. And I do feel like you guys have a lot of ideas that you want to work on. It's just kind of cultivating them and figuring out, okay, what's the step-by-step -step plan? It could be also that you're writing lots of ideas down and right now you can't actually execute them, but you're kind of brainstorming, okay, is there any kind of new project that I want to do? This could also be that you kind of pick up a new hobby or a hobby that you haven't kind of picked up for quite a long time. But I feel like for a lot of you guys, this is to, this is to do with a lot of your imagination and your creativity that you're kind of really working on kind of bringing forward, okay? And I feel like a lot of you guys are really connecting with water as well. I think that's a really big thing for you guys. So if you can get near water, definitely do. But if you can't, maybe have a bath, have a shower. Um, I don't know, fill your sink with water, you know, and kind of like put your hands in it. It's just kind of doing anything that really makes you connect with that water, even if it's kind of silly. Um, and also drinking a lot of water will help you with this energy as well and kind of help you to move through it. So what else does group number two need to know? We have drink tea. That's quite similar to drinking water. And we also have movement. So obviously drinking a lot of fluids for you guys is obviously very important. And also to um, get a lot of kind of nutrients within those herbs that are in the tea. So maybe get yourself some like nice herbal tea, something that's quite uh, decent and really nice to kind of drink, you know, something that's really decent and not kind of, and something that's organic, you know, something that is good for the environment. Um, like a decent tea, maybe get yourself some like loose tea leaves or something like that. That might be really good for you. And we also have movement. So if it's not kind of sitting still and kind of chilling, maybe it's actually moving your body and really kind of getting in that chi energy. I keep hearing chi, tai chi and that sort of thing. Chi is the energy that kind of moves around your body. And obviously if you if you rub your hands together, you can feel that's the chi energy coming through. Uh, which is funny because I was literally just thinking about this earlier because uh, the Try Guys, I don't know if you know guys from the Try Guys, but I love them. The Try Guys were actually doing um, Tai Chi, I'm pretty sure. And this guy says about rubbing your hands together and that's the Chi, which I mean, yeah, because that's the energy that's in your body. So I just I just kind of randomly thought about it the other day. I'm also really connected with rainbows. So um, I know at this time at the moment you might be seeing a lot of rainbows. I don't know if they're doing this around the world, but they're doing it in the UK where they're having rainbows in the windows of things. So that's really, really fun and beautiful. So I feel like the movement's so good for you. So this could be yoga, dancing, um, just dance on like Nintendo. It could be, what else am I seeing? I'm seeing you going like this with your hands and going, 
So it could be something to do with Tai Chi, uh, Tai Chi Qi Gong. Uh, is there anything else? No, I'm just seeing a lot of Tai Chi and things like that. I'm hearing a crane. Like, I don't know if you guys have seen Kung Fu Panda, but there's a crane, like a bird, and he does Kung Fu. <laughs> don't know why I'm connected with that. So maybe that's a sign for you guys to look up the crane spirit. So let's see what other messages you guys need to know. We have Mercury communication. We have Aries and we have empowerment. So if you guys are really working on um, when you speak, I feel like you're speaking with a lot of power. You're speaking out of your solar plexus, which is beautiful. It's very confident. It's very powerful. It's very kind of connected to that. It's like connected to your root and you, who you are as a genuine person. And for some of you guys, you could be a little bit argumentative. So just be aware of that. Just kind of try to uh, chill and relax. Um, because Aries can get a little bit fired up and they do like a good argument sometimes. Not not all of them, but a lot of them do. So um, they can get really hot-headed and then kind of release it really quickly. So that could be energy that's kind of coming up from your head. And my, I'm actually getting really hot as I'm touching this Aries card. So I feel like a lot of you guys are going to get quite fired up in, in the next few weeks um, whenever you're watching this. Um, but yeah, just kind of be aware of that. And you might like fast cars as well. I feel like for some of you guys, you might want to have an experience in a fast car or something. Yeah, I might like the film Fast and Furious or something like that. I keep hearing, I keep seeing Bumblebee, like the Transformers. I've never seen the actual film, but I know that that's what he's called. Um, so for some of you guys, you could be having communication with an Aries. You could have communication coming from an Aries. It could be somebody who's actually a love relationship or it could be a friendship. Some of you guys, it, it's just going to be somebody who really empowers you. So it could be a female, it could be a male. I actually get extremely strong vibes from this. I feel like this is a very important person. It's going to be a really, really important person in your life. doesn't have to be an Aries. They could have Aries quite strongly in their chart though. could be like a fire sign in terms of like Sag or Leo as well. They could even have this in their rising. It doesn't have to be the actual star sign. But it's going to be somebody who's just going to really help you move forward with your career or help you kind of just give you advice for this time. I feel like you're both going to be supporting each other. So what crystal do we have here? We have Okanite. Beautiful. So very similar to Selenite, but this one's a little bit more deeper. Okanite's really strange. It's like a fluffy crystal. It's so weird. Um, but it's very cute and it looks like one of those little fluffy balls i don't know what they're called but they've been, been in like different like children's shows and stuff i'm hearing tribble and i swear me and my mum recently was talking about tribbles i think they're from star trek something like that but they're fluffy little weird things i don't know <laughs> um i don't know if they're actually what they look like in star trek because i don't really watch it but there is I, I keep getting like weird fluffy kind of creatures you know maybe you guys are getting a puppy and that as well and that's so random but a lot of, i'm seeing a lot of puppies recently like people walking puppies so i don't know if you guys are going to get a puppy but i feel like some of you guys that could be something that you're looking into or a cat or just like a fluffy animal i'm not seeing like reptiles we I mean, may be because we have like the eel kind of thing i mean that's kind of a reptile i don't know <laughs> it's a fish what what, what do we think guys is it a fish or a reptile i don't know um but yeah i'm going on a tangent let's move on so <laughs> you're basically dealing with a lot of past life stuff guys so i feel like movement and kind of staying hydrated is going to help you move through a lot of those deep patterns so beautiful this is in the reverse isn't it is this in the upright or isn't okay it's in the reverse they say they're saying it could be in the upright depending on kind of how you go about it um love that as that ten of cups came out wow guys okay wow this is tea okay tea i feel like you guys are really really nailing this evolution that's going on right now this transformation and i'm actually looking at this snake here so i feel like a lot of you guys you are very much transforming and this ten of cups is making me feel like you're <clears throat> much more <clears throat> excuse me much more in charge of this than you think you are and this six of cups is basically you connecting much more with your childlike self this makes me so freaking happy um, the Wheel of Fortune is in reverse. Why is it in reverse? Some of you guys don't really want to actually go through this transformation. Some of you guys really don't want to do it anymore. But they're saying that if you can go through it, it's, it, it's easy on the other side. It's so much easier and you'll feel so much better. Some of you guys could be releasing somebody who don't, no longer serves you. But others of you who have released and have done a lot of work on yourself, you are very much connecting to your inner child. And I think that's going to really, really sustain you for the long run. 
And the more we connect to our inner child, the more we're connecting with ourselves, you know, because we all have an inner child. And I feel like this is you being the inner child in this kind of aura. And the, the kind of the outside is the, the, the body that you have now. So this is your inner child and this is like the body that you have on the outside. So the inner child is always there with you. And maybe movement and dance could be something that you're looking into as well. You could be doing like a virtual dance class. You could be looking into physical dance classes. Um, yeah, I feel like it's definitely something to do with something you probably wanted to do for a long time. For those of you who are looking for a relationship, a romantic partner, I do see that coming in. And I say it could be somebody who's an Aries. It could be somebody who's helping you through this time as well. But I definitely feel like because a lot of you guys are working on yourself. I'm sorry, guys, you can hear my stomach. It's very, very loud. Um, if you guys have been working yourself really, really well and you've been... I'm, I'm seeing that you guys are really working on yourself. That I feel like you're going to be very much connecting to that happy energy and that's going to actually be a catalyst to bring in all the kind of manifestations you really really want okay and this is really going to help you to be much more just connected to yourself and because you're in this happy energy as I say it's going to be a magnet to all the manifestations that you want and I'm getting really really hot oh my lord I'm getting so hot with this group so I feel like this group is going to be like I'm like it's going through a gigantic change I feel like a lot of you you're basically over the hump I think that's why we have the wheel of fortune in reverse it's like you're basically already there you're already in this I feel and this could be somebody that you know from a past life could also be somebody that you know um from your childhood Okay, so let's have a look and see what else you guys need to know. Oh, with the astrology dice. Okay, so we have the 11th house, we have Sagittarius, and we also have Jupiter. So Sagittarius in the 11th house is really fun. So it's funny that I said a dance class because I feel like a lot of you guys are going to meet a friend through a friendship group or a community. 11th house is all about community, it's about friendship, it's about coming together in a unit. And Sag is all about travel. So you could meet somebody through that sort of energy, obviously when we're allowed out and we're allowed to travel. Um, but it can just be in your country as well. The Jupiter energy here is showing me that you guys are going to meet somebody really unexpectedly as well. So that could be obviously if you're in a relationship where you're single, it doesn't really matter. But I feel like for those of you who are looking for a relationship, I do see that person coming in. We have got that fire sign again. This is somebody who's really extroverted as well or somebody who really likes to communicate and it's just very open. They're very kind of going with the wind. So I think this person's going to be really good for you. And this could also mean that you're kind of joining travel groups. You're, you're thinking about joining a travel group, somebody, like a group you can hike with, a group you can go walking with, a group you can literally go like across Europe with, obviously when we're allowed to travel. But yeah, I do feel like that's, that's going to be really important for you guys. This person's, I feel like, is going to change your life. I really, really feel that. Not not for everyone, but I do feel like this per there is somebody coming in. If it's not somebody coming in, I do definitely feel like there is like a, you joining a group or something that's really going to expand your connections and th things you're interested in, okay? So thank you so much, group number two, for watching. If you want to subscribe to my channel, I'd really, really appreciate it. If you want a private reading, all my information is down below. And if you'd like any crystal jewellery, then let me know. Hit me up on my Instagram or my email. All the information is down below. I have changed, slightly changed my rates, just slightly. Uh, but that's obviously, it's not that big of a deal. It's only slightly. But I just wanted to let you know, guys, that it may look a bit different. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Hello, group number three. Let's get started with your reading. We have the gorgeous Desert Rose. This is made from sand, wind and water yeah so beautiful isn't that crazy how that how nature makes this stuff it's just absolutely insane um but i feel like for you guys you may be feeling a little bit jumbled up you may be feeling like you're going through quite an intense energy right now so hopefully we're going to get some lovely energies for you and lots of information to help you stay grounded okay because i feel like you guys are feeling a little bit up in the air at the moment okay we have believe in yourself for the number one so funnily enough Obviously, squirrels like to bury their nuts in the ground or in a tree, but I feel like a lot of them do like to go, um, like they're kind of on the ground a lot of the time. So this is obviously, as I said, keeping you grounded. This is you really focusing on what makes you feel good and knowing that you can get through whatever you're going through right now and knowing that this is for a purpose, this is for a reason, this isn't just for funsies. I mean, maybe, <laughs> but, you know, I do feel like this is something that you need to know in terms of, like you you're ready for this i feel like you can handle this and maybe you need some extra help as well so maybe ask for help with whatever this is for some of you guys you could be going through a few relationship issues and i'm sending you lots of love with that because i know it can be a really hard time especially at the moment 
But I feel like for a lot of you guys, it's just really important for you to focus on your own energy as much as possible because you don't want to give to other people too much where you're not giving enough to yourself. Some of you guys, you could be a Cancerian as well. Okay, so we have watch a movie. I feel like some of you guys, you could be a water sign or fire sign for this group as well. So just keep that in mind. I feel like a lot of you guys could be Aries or Cancer. It doesn't have to be though. Okay, it could be like your moon sign or rising as well. So for some of you guys, it's just really important for you to just chill and just watch a movie, watch Netflix, watch YouTube, uh, listen to some music, connect to your little animals if you have one, or watch some cute animal videos. I think you guys are going through a very important time where I feel like a lot of you guys may be people pleasers or have gone through people pleasing energy. And you're kind of coming out of that and you're having, you've got more courage in your, and conviction in your voice with the way you talk. And we do have the number four. Number four is all about stability and we have 54 here as well. So you guys are going through a really strong cycle where you're really releasing a lot of energy that no longer serves you. In terms of who you are, you're shedding a lot of old wounds, you're shedding a lot of the past. And I feel like it's really, really serving you, okay? I love Aquamarine. It's like one of my favorite crystals. It's so, 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 so pretty. And not to float my own boat, but it looks really good in a crystal bead in my, in my jewelry, okay? <laughs> okay, so... Let's see what else we have. We have Moon, yeah, Feelings, that's beautiful, ruled by Cancer. We have Sagittarius, and we also have Balance. So keeping balance is very, very important for you guys. And doing things that are spontaneous, and I know it's quite hard at the moment, but even doing like really small things, like just popping out to the shops to buy something you just want to buy, like food, like, like not like something random and stupid, but like, like a piece of like, I don't know, a random piece of fruit you haven't eaten for a long time, or making yourself a dinner or even maybe ordering yourself food if you're able to do that um and just kind of doing something that's really random like i'm gonna go out for a run i'm gonna go, i'm gonna do some dancing i'm gonna watch something that i haven't watched for like 10 years you know and just really connecting with that those emotions because that's going to create a safe space for you to like process these emotions i feel like for you guys it's really important for you to just give yourself like a nice little cocoon like a blanket cocoon if you're like watching netflix or something because you just want to be in your own energy. I feel like for a lot of you guys, you want to travel. I know this is very strong energy. This feels like I really, 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 really want to travel. So I feel like for you guys, you will, you will, you will, you will. You just need to kind of chill. <laughs> okay. It's basically you've got to work on the groundwork first before you can get up in the air. That's basically what they're saying. It's like, don't walk before you can run, essentially. Or don't run before you can fly, if you're a bird, you know? <laughs> okay, so, and also I'm seeing flying as in, like, the plane here. And the horse spirit is about freedom. So I feel like for a lot of you guys, you're just feeling very restricted. But the best thing for you to do is just balance out your emotions as much as possible, because that will help you to, to sustain the balance. It's not always about the external. A lot of this is about the internal, you know? Okay, so we have the king of wands, which is lovely. We have Aries. We have the water again here. We then have the Ten of Pentacles. Wow, you guys have got some... Whoa, you got some beautiful cards here. Wow, okay. So, very strong energy. You guys are most likely going to get a relationship out of everything that you're kind of going through. Like, that's just a fact here. I feel like a lot of you guys could be connecting with a fire sign or water sign. You could be connecting with a um, your energy towards your a father figure. You could be really working on that relationship and trying to become more kind of close and if you possibly have had arguments before you're trying to keep the peace I feel like for some of you, you could just live with a dad just just a dad not a mum or anything I feel like just a dad for some reason that's just a significant energy so if you guys are living with just a father figure then I feel like you guys are really working on that energy and I really feel like you're filling up your own cup and that's the best thing for you to do is just focus on things that you that really suit you I do feel like you, a lot of you guys are working for a lot of emotional baggage towards your father. So you could be, um, could be a mother as well, but I feel like more to do with a masculine energy here. For some of you who are wanting a, a relationship, I do see a Cancerian or a fire sign coming towards you. It could be Leo, Sag, Aries, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. This Ace of Cups is basically showing me that it's going to be, just to put it bluntly guys, an offer from somebody who's really passionate about you, who've been possibly watching you for quite a long time, with this Ten of Pentacles, which is like a massive, like amazing offer, feeling really sustainable, mature, and this is gonna happen in divine timing, okay? So this is really beautiful. I love this so much. This is so lovely. I feel like this energy is so like potent and like it's just so ready to be brewed. I feel this is just so ready to just come up and out. For those of you who are already in relationships or this doesn't resonate with, you're just filling up your own cup and you're finding out what makes you really passionate about life and you're learning to balance both sides of you like the intense kind of 
the aggressive side and the emotional side you know the part of you that just wants to lash out and the part of you that just wants to be loved you know you're both you're i'm hearing both of you are working on each side so no one getting both of you but it could be like your masculine and your feminine side you're both working you're working on both those sides but i definitely feel like there's a lot of just this is just so positive all these cards are just so freaking positive and the star is just amazing this is like everything will happen in divine timing you are guided and you will get the messages coming through okay so let's have a look i'm going to pull you one more astro card for this what's this all about what's this all about through number three? Oh my god okay okay love coming in for you guys yep mm -hmm. okay that's it that's it <laughs> i'm just gonna pull you one more because i'm so Oh my god, a transformative relationship. Hell yeah. Hell to the freaking yeah. Let's do this, bitch. Okay. Beautiful. There's a massive opportunity in love here. Wow, amazing. Could be with a Capricorn as well. Could be somebody who's your boss or somebody you've been working with. All right, let's go. Let's see. The tea is all here today. I'm really looking at this um, volcano with the renewal and the inner resources and the power. I feel like a lot of you guys are just going for this huge, gigantic rebirth. This is beautiful. <laughs> so this is literally confirming what I just said. Tenth house is about career, okay? We have Libra, love. Libra is about love. Libra is about balance. And we have opposition balance. So Libra is all about that Venus energy, that love energy. And we also have Saturn, which is massively about that transformation. It's about expansion. It's about potency. This is going to be the ultimate transformation for you guys. And transformation just in love, in your love relationships as well. And in your just your relationships, you're transforming completely in your relationships, your friendships, your relationships, your family, co-workers, any sort of relationship you have with another person or being like an animal it's all changing it's becoming much more easier much more easier to deal with much more fair much more balanced much more even on both sides which is so 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 beautiful i'm gonna pull you guys one more card i feel the need to just give you a lot guys a lot more messages oh my god this this reading is so synchronistic <clears throat> it's crazy so we have divine timing which is the star that's wow and this is a fire energy here that i always feel when i get the tiger so we have good things come to those who freaking wait exactly exactly and underneath the deck we have the trust approach the situation with a light heart just trust everything is working out for you guys in divine timing and you're going to be fine things might feel intense right now but you're going to be fine just keep grounding yourself keep working with the energies that are coming up and EFT is really good like tapping and also acknowledging and releasing i acknowledge part of me feeling sad about this situation and I choose to let these feelings flow right now hand on your heart deep breath in deep breath out and then look kindly at yourself like you would a child or a dog or a puppy or a kitten <laughs> and yeah just really kind of let that energy flow because that's the most important thing this is all the this is all the universe is helping us to do is just to release all of our intense baggage because we're going into Aquarius woo woo <laughs> okay so bye bye Capricorn energy <laughs> okay so thank you so much for watching guys if you want private reading all my information is down below if you want any jewellery crystal jewellery then all my information is down below if you would like to uh, subscribe to my channel I'd really really appreciate it and if you want to like and comment also very much appreciate it thank you so much and I'll speak to you very soon bye